Francis, I don't... characters there's obviously some very clear uh kind of ancestry going on here this one i feel like is is seemingly pretty obvious i mean it looks like cynthia to me and then there's a little bit more of a stretch with the other guy the other merchant who kind of looks like volkner is that really that much of a stretch i mean they're legitimately put in the same pose Myself, the depression can't come in, and when I cleanse myself, the anxiety can't win. And when I line my chakras, I might shock your a ancestors. Give me protection, a bro. Why does it smell so loud in here? Oh, that's probably just the sage I'm burning. You shea butter shithead. That wasn't sage. That was a strand called sage. Oh, well, that explains how I aligned with my higher self. <laughs> <laughs> and if Umuntu is straight, right, then they are going to see a lot of feces, a lot of, um, a lot of filth, a lot of dirt in their, um, in their home and in their dreams. Mm. And then they'll have a tendency of smelling a lot of foul smells, mm. right? Where there is this straight, kunokungola. Okay. I see. Bugs. If you have a, in your house, if you if you tend if you tend to be a very clean person, right. And there's a lot of random ants, bugs, cockroaches. Especially if you've moved into somewhere for the first year, you were fine, and now all of a sudden there are bugs out of nowhere. Right. That's a sign of istrito. What? Not necessarily uti patwelenga awe. Especially amapela ne intutwane. Right. Amapela ne intutwane and cockroaches. Right? Yeah. Because those are insects that, especially a cockroach, those are insects that dabble in what? Filth and feces. Of course. Right? So, I'm going to use the same bug or the same animal. And you wouldn't even suspect it's because you're just thinking, oh, maybe. Let me fumigate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then. We pre fleshed and froze the high. First, we thaw it. I built a frame and we'll lace up the elk high. This has many benefits. After lacing up and leaving to dry, it turns into rawhide and is ready to dry scrape. Get the youth involved whenever you're able to. After dry scraping you are ready to saturate it in your tanning solution depending on your preferred method. Fresh eggs. I will use the yolks in place of brains for this particular hide. Allow your hide to sit and soak up the solution. When the hide is ready, take it out of the solution and get ready for the ringing step. After ringing you will lace the hide back up to the frame and get ready to work it for some hours. Here goes the truth about your ancestors. Your ancestors are in your DNA, and you are a descendant of your ancestors genetically. This makes you your ancestors. Now what you must understand is that your body is your altar. So the information that you tap into is what determines what ancestors you connect back to. But be careful, because not all your ancestors are flawless, like how everyone in your genetic lineage isn't flawless. The information that you receive through your five senses from your environment is what determines gene activation. We know this through the science of epigenetics. 
Now I understand, you might not be able to just get a microscope and, and look at your DNA and, and understand your genes. There's another way and there's a better way to understand your ancestors. You need to get your natal chart because if you study the laws of the universe, you would understand the law of correspondence. As above, so below. What's going on astrologically is going on biologically. Your astrological natal chart is your genome. The conjunctions, styles, and trines in your natal chart are your angels. These are the good ancestors. These are good things you want to tap into. The squares, oppositions, and quincunxes are your demons. These are the things that are going to be your debilitations and your obstacles in life. Studying your natal chart is studying your genes. This is one of the first steps towards self-mastery. Understanding yourself. Know thyself. Love thyself. Make sure y'all share this message. Reflected light from the Most High Chief Baba G. Peace to the gods. I love myself. I appreciate this video so, 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 so much. It has so much meaning to me. The second I saw it, I had to run and get something to show y'all. For context, in the video that I'm stitching, the creator says that every time they go to the East Coast, they're mindful of their ancestors who still lie at the bottom of the ocean because they chose to find their freedom that way um, rather than stay in captivity. So on that note, I want to show y'all my favorite book ever, one of my favorite books ever. Um, it's called Kumbe. Uh, titled Run For It in English, Stories of Slaves Who Fall For Their Freedom. It is a graphic novel, so it's literally beautiful. I have it tattooed on me, but it is also super accessible, so it's perfect. All right, so let's get into it. So this book is by Afro-Brazilian author Marcelo Tzalechi. If you don't know his work yet, you should totally check it out. It's fucking beautiful. Um, it was originally written in Portuguese. I did read it myself in Portuguese. If you do speak the language, I recommend that you read it in its original form. But um, obviously, this is the English version. It is available. Also, before I move forward, I do want to say that there's a chance that I might mispronounce some of the words that stem from African dialects. Um, I'm Brazilian, so you'll hear my accent through this. But um, for some of the words that are stemming from African dialects, I couldn't find the correct pronunciation of it online. So I'm doing my best. And if you do know the right thing, please do correct me in the comments. So Kumbe, the title of the book, is a word that stems from um, dialects from Angola and Congo. And it means sun and flames. And it was chosen as a title to represent the strength of these folks. There are multiple short stories in the book. Um, they're all amazing. So for instance, Kalunga is one of them. I don't want to give spoilers, but I'll leave y'all with this beautiful shot. Malungo is another one of the stories. I'm trying so hard not to give spoilers, but I just want to let y'all know that literally just flipping through this, and I've read this a thousand times, um, I every time I have chills. So I don't want to give more of it away, but if you want to know how that ties back to the video I'm stitching, you should totally get it. Regardless, you should totally get this book, read it, take it in, fucking show it to young people. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, and then this is my tattoo inspired by it. Um, and I think this is especially meaningful to me because my name is Sunshine and Kume means sun, but yeah. I think one of the worst feelings in this world is looking yourself in the mirror. A face made up of thousands before you and feeling ugly in your own skin. Wanting to meet the idealistic European beauty standards of fair skin and a clear face. We try telling ourselves brown is beautiful, brown is beautiful. But my question is, what are we gonna start believing? Where you wanna meet, I can't be thinking straight Got a couple missed calls, I'll be on my way I'm guessing you don't feel the same Over and over, it's burning Feeling like the fire that's so fast to flame I know when I'm leaving tomorrow It'll be another that you can't replace All the fashion is the way that 
that you're playing No time for reason, you're so